Hey everyone, I'm Naomi Meredith, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a class and add students in Google Classroom. Typically, the website you will go to is classroom.google.com. Now, depending on your school district and what they want you to do, they might have you go another way first and then into Google Classroom. So just make sure you're following your district's guidelines. I'm here in Google Classroom, and I currently don't have any classes yet. When I hover over this plus sign, it says create or join a class. I'm going to click on that and I want to create a class as a teacher. It's just going to ask me if I'm using G Suite or all that, continue. And then I'm going to give my class a name. So depending on what grade level you teach, you can get as detailed as you want. Uh, typically when I name my classes, I usually put the year at the end, just so when I know when I'm archiving and looking back on work, I can keep that organized. So we're gonna call this Miss Meredith's class 1920. And then, like I said, you can get more detailed if you would like and then create. Now, once I've created my class, if I haven't used Google Classroom in a while, it might even give me some prompts to help me add students, which is super awesome. So I can always click the X or got it once I've read those prompts. And it's actually given me a prompt to help me add kids. There are a couple ways that you can add students. And again, this depends on the age of the students you're using Google Classroom with. The first way is you can have students type in that join code. They make it really easy now with Google Classroom. The code is up here at the top and you can make it large up on the screen. So when you're in the regular classroom, and if you get new students or you're setting this up for the first time, it's awesome. You can post this up on your screen nice and large and the students can type this in themselves. So where they would type it, this code, you have this code or whatever it is. As a student, they also have a plus sign and they will join a class and use that code here. So that's where they would type in that code as a student and then they would join. Currently, I have no students. The other way that you can add students is if you tap on people, it says students right here. I don't have any kids. And if your school has it set up where the kids have their own Google accounts, typically in a school district, you can search for those students. It just depends on how they have it set up, but you can click this plus sign and you can type in the students' emails right here. I would recommend using this for older grades, middle school and high school students who are usually more familiar with their student email. In elementary school, I typically don't use this method since we haven't always introduced emails yet. If you're trying to invite kids at home in elementary school, I would suggest using that join code and sending it to parents that way. So I hope that helps when creating a new class and adding students in Google Classroom.